Employment Pack for Japan. That was really heavy. <laughs> Hello everyone. Yes, I am going to Japan in a few weeks. By the time you're seeing this, I would have probably already gone to Japan. It's probably gonna take me a while to edit all of these videos. But yes, I'm traveling for three weeks. That's a long time. So I'll just give you a quick rundown of my itinerary. So the first nine days will be spent in Tokyo. Then we're spending five days in Osaka. And from there, we're gonna do some like day trips to Kyoto and Nara Deer Park. And at the end, we're spending a little under a week in Okinawa. It's just gonna be so cool. I have never been to Okinawa. I'm so excited. I'm gonna take you guys along with me, don't you worry. I need to pack. I have an old Manaka card, which is kind of like the Suica card from my last trip, so this will come in handy. This is everything I have so far. I got these fleece-lined tights to wear with the skirts. So I'm going to Japan during like a transitional period where it's like still kind of wintry, but also spring, so it'll probably be cold still. But yeah, I got these on Amazon and they are warm inside, but they look like regular, like skin colored tights. Another essential item for anyone with like curly hair, textured hair, just any hair, honestly. <laughs> I guess it's like a silk bonnet, but I actually just use it as a pillowcase. I put it on top of the pillows in the hotel when I'm sleeping and it just helps prevent frizz, keeps my hair more intact. So highly recommend. I also got this on Amazon. Another pro tip is pack a handkerchief with you. Handkerchief or handkerchief. Just handy to have with you at all times. If you need to like dry your hands in a public bathroom, wipe your face, I don't know. Just good to have. And then another essential item, which I also bought in Japan many years ago, is this expandable bag. It expands, it can even expand bigger than this. And then by the end of the trip, I'm very likely to have bought way too many things. So. I'll just fill this up and take it with me as an additional carry-on. So it is the next morning. It is 9 a.m. now. We already started the morning off getting crepe cakes, which are my favorite. It's 4 p.m. back in Vancouver, so yeah, hopefully the jet lag doesn't hit us soon because it's only the morning. But this is the view from our hotel. There's like a little corner there, which is kind of cool. We're really high up. Our hotel is so tiny. Um, but anyways, I guess we are off to our next destination, which might be uh, the Tsujiki Market. Um, we'll see, haven't really decided yet, but let's head on out.
cute. Aww. It's the genie one. Okay, so it's the second full day here in Tokyo, and um, we've just been eating convenience store foods for breakfast like every day so far. So I picked up this salad, it has like crab meat and egg in it, and I also got these pancakes to try, and lastly I got this yummy looking bread. I'm not going to eat all of this right now, I'll just put the rest in the fridge, but I just had to sample everything so let's start with the pancake it's like a little pancake sandwich and there is maple syrup and margarine in between mmm oh it just tastes so buttery oh that's the maple syrup wow kind of looks like jam interesting mmm that's so good. This is like nine and a half out of ten. Mm -mm -mm. The bread is good. I forgot to film myself eating it, but it was very good. <laughs> Time for the salad. A separation for the seaweed. Just plop that in. Okay, I'll just put that there for now. Oh, okay. I get it. There's like a little... Plastic separation so that the lettuce doesn't get soggy. That makes sense. Just flip that over. I love how the seaweed has an added layer to keep that extra fresh. Sticks. Comes with a little toothpick as well. And I guess I can't shake it, <laughs> I just realized, because there isn't really a lid. There's the salad. I'm excited for the crab meat. Hmm. It's a nice dressing, very light. There's a little egg. Hmm. So far, all of the food I've had here has been amazing. Like, not a single disappointing time. Today we're gonna head over to Shibuya, check out the crosswalk. There's just something about watching a huge amount of people cross a giant street. It's like the ultimate people watching. And then later on we have a reservation at Gonpachi, which is the izakaya that Kill Bill was filmed at. There's like a, a famous scene. And yeah, I'm so excited. I feel like so far it's been an amazing trip and it's only been pretty much a day. So it's gonna keep getting better. <laughs>
I'm back from a day in Shibuya. This is the haul from today. So we went to the Nintendo store. First of all, the packaging. So cute. Obsessed. And when I saw this tote bag, this Animal Crossing tote, I just had to get it. Um, so this is awesome. <laughs> and then I picked up these two headbands. They were both like 300 yen, so like $3 Canadian. So I got this black one and it's kind of like nice and thick. And then this one. Can't wait to buy more stuff. 